Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 345. It's an easy level problem, uh, but sort of a better than the other first level problems that you get. You can see that with the accuracy as well. Okay, the problem name is find the losers of the circular game. So it's a very easy problem statement. I won't go through this long problem statement. It says that you have some friends. Okay, they are sitting in suppose in a circle, right? So you start with first friend. You have a ball. Okay, you start with first friend, and that friend. So you start with round number one. Okay. That friend passes the ball. You also have a variable k. Okay, passes the ball to a friend who is k steps away. Okay, k steps away. Now this friend receives the ball. Now it is now round two. So this friend will pass the ball to which friend who is two into k steps away. Okay, done. Now this guy has the ball. This guy, since it is round three now, will pass the ball to three into k. This friend. Okay, this will keep on happening till when this will keep on happening till there is a player who receives the ball twice. Okay, as soon as you receive anyone receives the ball twice, the game ends. Now, what do you have to tell? You have to tell me, uh, tell who are the losers of the game now, who actually are the losers. So, as soon as the game ends, game will end as uh, when, whenever a player receives the ball for the second time. So, at that particular point of time, who are the players who have not received the ball even once? Okay. Players who have not received the ball even once, they are the losers. So you have to return an array in ascending order telling who are the losers of the game. That's a simple problem statement. Okay. This is a long problem statement. So I just skipped it and told you what they're asking for. Okay. Like for example, in this case, just see, uh, you have a circle. You start with player one. This is one. This is two, three, four, five. Okay. You start with one. This guy has received the ball. This will pass the ball to, since this is round number one, to k into one steps away. So one, two, this will, the ball will go to step friend number three. He has also received the ball. Now, since this is round number two, it will pass to two into k. That means four steps away. So one, two, three, four. This is also done. Great. Now this will pass three into two, six steps away. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now just see three has already seen a ball, has already received the ball. So game ends. Now when the game ends, how many players have not received the ball? It's player number four and player number five. So answer is four comma five. Getting it? This is how you solve this, this example as well. So I would say it's an implementation based problem. All you need to do is try to simulate it, right? Try to simulate it. So whenever, suppose you are here. This is your current position. So at your current position, what you are doing, you are doing current plus round number into K, right? This is the new position of the ball. Now, if this goes beyond N, since this is a circle, you just take mod N, simple. You just take mod N and you take a hash set. You, you, you somehow you take any data structure, which is keep, which is keeping a track of which are the values that have already visited. Okay. Now, as soon as you see that, okay, this value I was already visited. I'm visiting it for the next time, end the game, break the loop and return the values, which are not visited. Now a trick here is the values are starting from one, two, three, four till N, right? And we are taking mod here. So instead what we can do, we can assume values to be zero to N minus one. Why? Because this mod, when you take mod with n what are the values you can get you can get values from 0 to n minus 1 so rather we are transforming this for simplicity if you uh, take mod with n you get a value 0 as well there is a possibility right but there is no well uh, there is no person with value 0 so why not shift every every value by 1 okay that's what i've done here this is the visit this is a hash set that i've taken to keep a track of whether or not i've visited a particular value so just see zero guy, uh, the, the, the first person is already visited. So I index that with I minus one. So first person is having an index zero. Okay. Current position is zero or this is round number one. So current equals to current plus round into K current mod N. Okay. So you know the new position. So if visited dot contains current, that means if this, the new current has already been visited, you break the loop. Else what you do, you add that into your set and you increment the round. Okay. This will keep on happening. Now what happens, these are the number of uh, players who are visited. These are the total number of players. So N minus this number of players are losers. Okay. So I, I instantiate an array. This is index number zero. Now what I do, I check what are the values that are not present in the set. And I just add that in my answer array. Okay. If visited dot contains I, you skip it. Else you add that in your answer array and you finally return your answer. Okay. So 
this was totally based on implementation nothing fancy was needed here probably the only trick i would say was mapping one to n to zero to n minus one that would uh, simplify the problem for you right so yeah that's it for this solution do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case of any queries let me know in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye